What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Zeo Designs. So, I have another scroll saw video for you today. Um, as previously stated in uh, other episodes where I was on the scroll saw. The scroll saw is one of my favorite um, things to do in the shop. It's, it's relaxing and the possibilities on it are just endless. And I recently had seen a couple people on Instagram making those uh, animal puzzles and I was like, hey, I got young children, maybe it'll be fun. I made a couple of them, they went over great with the family. So I'm going to show you guys just how simple this is today and we're going to make a three piece cow puzzle. So no more talking, let's get to work. Alright guys, now that we're over at the work table, um, I am on numerous amounts of scroll saw groups online and I seen a guy post this pattern and I was like you know what I'm gonna grab it up print it out see how it does so got my carbon paper on the back stencil on the front tuck one edge under so you don't get some sliding around and we're just gonna trace it real quick All right, guys, and there it is. Transferred onto the wood. So we are going to jump over to the scroll saw and get going. Now that the silhouette is cut out, I have found it a lot easier to go over to the table and sand all the edges before you cut these lines out. Um, it's a lot easier to sand a project this big than it is to sand a project this big. So we're gonna run over there, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna come back, we're gonna cut these lines out. <clears throat> we, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't know how everybody else does it, but I do not sand these lines. I did on the first one I did, and it kind of doesn't fit together as well. It has like a lot of spring to it. So we're not going to sand this cut. So we're just going to have to be really slow and careful with it. But we're going to go sand the rest of it now. So this is my new one inch belt sander. Um, I actually opened it up earlier today when I was working out here. And I absolutely love it. Um, Perform Max is probably one of my favorite brands that's for a, uh, a market that I, I fit into. So I'm very happy with it and I, I would recommend it to anybody. Alright guys, now that we got the whole outside of the silhouette cleaned up, we're going to come back in and we're going to do um, these the, the puzzled lines. So we're at the scroll saw. You just want to go slow, take your time, um, because when you're doing the silhouette, you can be a little sloppy because you can go back in and fix it. But you have to cut this line. These two pieces have to match. So uh, it's really not that bad. It's not that hard. Like I said, this is probably the third one I've done so far. And uh, you just take your time, go slow. You don't have to have it cranked all the way up to max. Just uh, nice, smooth. All right, so let's go. All right, guys, there it is. So cut. Slides apart nice, goes together nice. So now we're gonna head back over to the table and I'm gonna show you guys a little trick I have for sanding these. So now that we're back at the work table, we have our puzzle cut. Now, to sand it, you can either 
take it each piece by piece, which is the way I did it the first time, or you can try to sand it as one whole piece, which is the way I tried to do it the second time. And that one is over there in the garbage can. The vibration and the moving of the piece, I ended up snapping a little piece off. I actually broke this piece and uh, it was unsalvageable. So I thought about it a little bit and I was like, you know what? I bet you if I tried my little trick, it would work. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over onto its back. We are going to take some tape and we are going to basically just re-tape it all back together to make it one piece again. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be any type of method to it. Just put a few strips of tape across the back. Mostly where the you know the cuts are. Something just like that. Now when you flip it over, you should be able to go over this top piece with no problem. Let's get to going. Alright, once you got all your pencil marks off and it's all nice and smooth, what you want to do is repeat the process like we did on the back. That's why we use painter's tape. Flip it over, peel the tape off the back, because the back is, on this one, actually came out pretty rough. So, it ain't going nowhere, it's one piece again. Alright guys, now the back side is cleaned up. Just, uh... Remove all the tape. Like I said earlier in the video, we are not going to sand any of that. If you change this at all, it's not going to fit as nice. I mean, look, it just the gap from the saw alone is pretty big. So if you start trying to get in there a sandpaper, you're just going to open that up even more. Um, the first one I made, I, I did. I didn't like the way it turned out. I'm just going to go back over and knock down a couple small spots with some just some hand sanding and uh, yeah, then we'll uh, talk about it a little bit. Alright guys, so like I said, they're cute, they're fun, they're super easy to make and kids love them. Um, to me, that's a, that's a slam dunk. Uh, it, it turned out really nice. I like it. Since filming, I uh, had to take a small break and go inside. I looked on the computer real quick, and I mean, there's thousands of different ones out there. There's some that are, you know, really super elaborate, like you're actually getting into building a, a, an actual puzzle. And there's a bunch of other little, like, three, four, and five uh, piece ones, which is pretty much where my kids are at. <clears throat> but uh, I like it. I, I'm going to make a few different kinds, and I'm going to throw them out at the the next couple of craft shows and see how well they do and uh i guess yeah that's about all i got for this so i appreciate you guys stopping by the shop this week and uh if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and uh hit the subscribe button right here and here's a list of some other scroll saw videos i have all right guys get to work